Welcome to an AccuPlacer video feature demonstration. Today we will look at part two of the AccuPlacer Phase 15 voucher redesign, generating and managing vouchers. Let's look at what's new with vouchers with the AccuPlacer Phase 15 voucher redesign. The voucher redesign introduces a single, simplified, and efficient process flow on a single page for standard print vouchers as well as for remote network and virtual vouchers. It also introduces the ability to create vouchers in bulk using the student pre-registration template for students taking AccuPlacer at a remote test network site or through virtually proctored test sessions. You also now have the ability to customize the expiration dates for your vouchers and new voucher management features include the ability to cancel vouchers and also to look up remote vouchers created by other institutions for testing within your remote network site. Inside this video feature demonstration, we will cover generating standard print vouchers from a student pre-registration template, managing vouchers, including searching for reprinting, exporting, and canceling vouchers related to your site, and other special scenarios such as generating bulk, remote, or virtual vouchers and generating a single student voucher without the student pre-registration template. Once you have successfully imported your student pre-registration data, covered under part one of this video feature demonstration series, you are ready to generate vouchers. Under the vouchers menu in the left navigation pane, click generate vouchers. The generate voucher screen will appear. Within this screen, you can select a pre-registration file to load pre-registration data for your students. Select the branching profile you would like to administer to those students. Select the voucher type and select a custom voucher expiration period. To generate your vouchers, first select a previously imported student pre registration template from the drop down. Select a branching profile you would like to administer to all students within that template. Select the voucher type, either standard print voucher for use within your test center or remote network or virtual voucher to be used elsewhere. Then, select your voucher expiration, which defaults to 90 days, but can be set to 7 days, 14 days, 30 days, or 60 days. Once you have selected the parameters in the top half of the screen, the students will appear in the student list below, including student ID, first name, last name, date of birth, and email address if provided. Note here that we do not yet have voucher numbers because we have not generated our vouchers. If you would like to add a student to the student list with an existing AccuPlacer student profile, click the Find Students button. Here, you can enter any combination of student ID, first name, or last name, to search for the student. You can also select a date range. Click the search button to search for students. Click the checkbox next to the desired student, then click Add. The student will now appear in the student list, and we are ready to generate our vouchers. If you would like to remove a student from the student list and no longer generate a voucher for them, click the checkbox next to the student or students you wish to remove. Then, click the Remove Students button. You will be prompted to verify the action. Click No to keep the student in the student list, or click Yes to remove them. The student has now been removed from the list. Click the Generate Voucher button to start the generation process. You will receive a confirmation screen, including the voucher type, the number of students for whom vouchers will be created, and the branching profile for the vouchers. 
click No if you wish to cancel, or click Yes to proceed with generating the vouchers. You will receive a success message at the top of the screen. Below in the student list, we now see that voucher numbers have been generated for each of our students. Once the standard print vouchers have been generated, you can print them for the students. Printing can be done for selected students by selecting the checkbox next to the desired student and clicking the Print button. Alternately, you can click the Print All button to print the vouchers for all students in your student list. You can also choose to export your vouchers in CSV, Excel, or XML format. Once you click the Print button, a preview of your vouchers will appear. Each voucher includes critical information, including the voucher code, the student ID, first and last name, the expiration date for the voucher, and the branching profile. You will see all vouchers for the students that were in the student list. Click the Print button to use your computer to print the vouchers. Manage Vouchers allows you to search for vouchers related to your site, then reprint or re-export those vouchers, or cancel them. To start, go to Vouchers in the left navigation menu. Then, click Manage Vouchers. The Manage Vouchers screen will appear, providing you the ability to search for vouchers related to your site you will see your institution name and site name at the top of the screen. Search parameters are provided for your search, including voucher status, unused, used, or canceled. You can also search by voucher type, including standard print vouchers, which are vouchers you plan to provide to your students at your test center remote network or virtual vouchers, which are for students from your school who will take AccuPlacer at a remote test center or through an AccuPlacer virtual proctor, or remote vouchers scheduled for my site, which are students from other schools who plan to use a remote voucher within your test center. You can also narrow your search based on a specified date range. Options include today only, yesterday and today, last seven days, last 30 days, last six months, or any custom date range using the from and to fields. To search for a specific student, you can enter a student ID, student first name, and or student last name. Click on search to find the student. Finally, you can also search for a previously imported student pre-registration template. All students within that template will appear in the voucher search results. Each record in the search results includes the critical information about the voucher, including student information, the branching profile, the voucher number, and the expiration date. You have the option to reprint export, or cancel each or all vouchers within the search results. Select the voucher or select all, click reprint, and your vouchers will automatically reprint on your computer. Click export options to export your voucher or vouchers in delimited text, CSV, Excel, or XML format. When you select one format, the file will automatically download to your computer. If you determine you need to cancel one or more previously generated vouchers, select the desired voucher and click the Cancel Voucher button. You will be prompted to confirm the cancellation. Click No to keep the voucher or click Yes to cancel it you will receive a success message at the top of the screen. 
After canceling a voucher, you can search for canceled vouchers to verify that the voucher was canceled. We now see the selected voucher in canceled status. The AccuPlacer Phase 15 voucher redesign now allows you to create vouchers for remote test centers or virtually proctored test sessions using the same student pre-registration template and same process flow used to generate standard print vouchers. To generate remote vouchers in bulk, start by clicking Generate Vouchers. Select the desired student pre-registration template from the drop-down list. Once selected, you will see all students from that template in the student list below. Click the plus sign next to a student to see additional details, including branching profile, if assigned, file name of the template from which the student was imported, the host site name, and the date of import. When generating remote vouchers, it is critical that email address for the student is included so that the student can receive the voucher information by email. Select the branching profile you would like to apply for the remote vouchers. If desired, select a custom voucher expiration period. Then select the voucher type which should be remote network or virtual voucher. To select the remote site, click the magnifying glass, select the country, the state, and enter a city name or a zip code. Select the desired radius around the city or zip code. Then, click the search button. A list of available testing sites matching your criteria will appear at the bottom of the screen. A view button is provided for additional details about the site. Click the View button to open the Remote Test Site Information screen. This screen provides additional information about the remote test site, including the site name, address information, country, state, city, the AccuPlacer region, and zip code. Primary contact information for the test site is also provided. A custom email greeting that the student will receive is displayed, as well as any additional test information available. The test center hours and time zone are also provided, as well as the custom email closing students will see. Cost of the assessment and accepted payment methods are also provided. Click the Close button to return to the Available Testing Sites screen. To search for a virtual site for virtual proctored sessions, click the Virtual Site Search Only. Then click the Search button. To select a site, click the radio button next to the site name. Then click the Select button. We now see the selected remote site as the Examity Virtual Proctor Service. To generate your vouchers, click the Generate Voucher button. You will be prompted to confirm your selection. The prompt reminder includes the voucher type, the number of students included, the branching profile applied, and the remote site name. To cancel generating the voucher, click No. Otherwise, 
click Yes to generate your vouchers. You will receive a success message at the top of the screen. In the student list below, you will now see voucher numbers for each of the students, and you are ready to print or export your vouchers. If you would like to create a voucher for a single student without using the student pre-registration template, you can still create individual vouchers from the Generate Voucher screen. From the left navigation menu, click Vouchers. Then, click Generate Vouchers. On the Generate Voucher screen, go directly to the Student List section at the bottom of the screen. Click the Create Single Student Record button. On the Create Student screen, fill in the necessary information. Required fields are marked with a red asterisk. Enter first name and last name, address information, select country from the dropdown, select state from the dropdown, enter the city information and zip code. You will be asked to enter the student ID twice to confirm. Enter an email address for the student. This is especially important when creating remote or virtual vouchers. Enter home and or mobile phone information. Use the calendar drop-down to select a date of birth or enter it in the field provided. Select gender and self-description responses. Click Create to create the student record. You will now see the individual student record you just created in the student list at the bottom of the screen, and you can return to the top of the Generate Voucher page to select a branching profile to administer to the student, as well as a custom voucher expiration period if desired. Select the voucher type, either standard print or remote or virtual voucher. Then click Generate Voucher and confirm your selection to generate the voucher. Be sure to check out part one of the Voucher Redesign series, Student Pre-Registration Upload.